Hi, my name is Kim Barbary and I'm the course coordinator for the Bachelor of Educational Studies and lecturer for education on the Muldura campus. I'm a Latrobe alumni completing my undergraduate degree and Master of Education with Latrobe. I taught in classrooms for nearly 20 years and I have a passion for improving regional education opportunities, which is why I'm so happy to be joining you today. Today I want to talk to you about our Bachelor of Education, primary and secondary, our Bachelor of Educational Studies that can be used as a pathway into the primary or secondary qualifications. I will also run through the Bachelor of Early Childhood Education, the Bachelor of Early Childhood and Primary, and the Bachelor of Technology Education. Let's start in the early years teaching with our Bachelor of Early Childhood Education. This degree is unique in that it is a true partner degree. Students that are interested in becoming early childhood teachers or kindergarten teachers will be able to commence in a diploma of early childhood education and care, which is generally about 18 months in length. Once you complete your diploma, you will be qualified to work in the childcare industry, which is great as you can earn it whilst you are upskilling. The Bachelor of Early Childhood Education is a four years in length, but we provide credit for one and a half of these for completing the diploma, and so you will have two and a half years to your left to complete. The degree is studied online and does require you to have current employment at a childcare centre to, in order to be eligible. The reason for this is that we try to coordinate some of your placement within your current workplace to make it a bit easier for you. We have professional recognition through the Australian Children's Education and Care Quality Authority and you'll be eligible to apply for registration with the Victorian Institute of Teaching. I should also point out that at the moment the government is offering a number of scholarships for students interested in this area due to the introduction of three-year-old kinder. We require a lot more qualified teachers so your job prospects after completing this degree are really good. Next we have the Bachelor of Early Childhood and Primary Education degree. This degree is offered at our Bendigo and Shepparton campuses and requires a study score of 25 in English other than EAL and Units 1 and 2 completion of General Maths, Math Methods or Specialist Maths. The Early Childhood and Primary Education degree is based on theories of learning and how they are applied when teaching. The focus is on understanding learning and development in children from birth to adolescence and the ways that educators can support learning for all children. Let's move on to our Bachelor of Technology Education, which is offered at our Bendigo and Melbourne campuses. The Bachelor of Technology Education is a specialist qualification to teach technology studies in secondary education and includes subjects to prepare you for teaching vocational education and training, VET. Students will be able to integrate strands of studies that include design technologies in the years 7 to 12 curriculum at the VCE level, Technology curriculum becomes more specialised and includes design and technology, food te technology and systems engineering. The entry requirements for this degree are very specific and so I would encourage you to go to our website to find out if you're eligible. Now let's talk about our most popular degrees, our primary and secondary and our Ed Studies courses. One of the key features of all three of these degrees is the commonality of the first year. The foundation year allows you to build strong knowledge around professional literacy and numeracy with awareness of contemporary approaches to learning. It is also a great feature for students who perhaps aren't sure if they would like to teach primary or secondary or if you're using educational studies as a pathway into either primary or secondary. The primary education degree is four years in length and offered at Melbourne, Bendigo and Muldura. The course allows you to specialise your skills in STEAM, English, Humanities and the Arts, Health, Physical Education and Languages. You will also have the option to complete a sequence of studies so you are qualified to teach as a special education teacher. There are 80 days of placement throughout this course which is accredited by the Victorian Institute of Teaching. The secondary education degree is four years in length and offered at Melbourne, Bendigo and Muldura. It will see you gain discipline expertise to teach across the stages of secondary school. You'll have the opportunity to specialise in two of the following disciplines, English, Maths, Humanities, Science, Languages Other Than English, TESOL, Physical Education, Health Education, Visual Arts, Drama and Psychology. Not all of these specialisations are available at every location, so it's important you have a chat with Latrobe course advisors about what is the best plan for you. There are 80 days of placement during this course and it is accredited by the Victorian Institute of Teaching. Now the Bachelor of Educational Studies is three years in length and offered at Melbourne, Bendigo and Shepparton and Muldura. This course does not qualify you to be a teacher in a classroom but does give you the knowledge and skills to be an educator in an alternate setting. 
With a common foundation year, the Bachelor of Educational Studies provides a pathway into one of our accredited teaching degrees. Most of these courses generally have about 12 hours of on-campus commitment each semester for a full-time study load, which is four subjects. You can also utilise our campus facilities for any study you may have or to complete group work. Let's talk about entry into these degrees. The primary and secondary education degrees have an ATAR requirement set at 70. You will also need to have completed VCE English Units 3 and 4 and received a study score of at least 25 in English other than EAL and a satisfactory completion of VCE Maths Units 1 and 2, either General Maths, Math Methods or Specialist Maths. For the Bachelor of Educational Studies, the indicative ATAR from last year's intake is around 57 and you'll be required to have completed VCE English Units 3 and 4, have received a study score of at least 20 in English other than EAL. The CASPER test is also a requirement for entry into the Bachelor of Early Childhood and Primary, Primary and Secondary degrees. The CASPER test is an assessment tool that assesses applicants for non-academic attributes or people skills. It's important to make sure that you select a test date for CASPER at least three weeks before the offer rounds, so be sure to check out their website at takecasper.com. That's it from me and for the course and entry requirements. What I will finish on is to let you know about our great relationships with our local schools, which allows us to provide fantastic placement opportunities in the regions and that we are a part of. These relationships have seen a significant number of our graduates employed within our local schools. I love teaching our aspiring teachers and find this role very rewarding. I look forward to playing a part in the next steps of your career. Thanks for listening today and I hope to meet you in person soon. If you have any further questions, please feel free to use the chat function now. Thank you. My name's Evie Jennings. I'm in my fourth year of a Bachelor of Early Childhood and Primary Education at La Trobe University in Bendigo. I moved to Bendigo in 2017 after finishing year 12 at St Mary MacKillop College in Swan Hill. While studying my degree at La Trobe, I've been afforded the opportunity to undertake several work placements, both in early childhood and primary education. My primary education placements, I've conducted one in Bendigo at Violet Street, one in Melbourne, and I'll be completing one in Geelong. I've also undertaken three early childhood placements here in Bendigo. Upon completion of my degree in 2020, I hope to get a job as a primary school teacher here in Bendigo, as I've loved my experience at La Trobe and made so many positive connections and relationships with many people, so I'd love to stay locally in the community. What I've loved about studying most at La Trobe in Bendigo is this real sense of community that it fosters. I've lived on res for two years and made so many great connections with people and then I was also afforded the opportunity to work at La Trobe as well. So through those connections I'd be able to make so many positive relationships. And due to the smaller size compared to other metropolitan universities, you are really able to have a positive relationship with many of your lecturers due to the smaller size and really feel like you can make a connection with them. Living on res made my experience moving from Swan Hill a lot less daunting as I was able to live and study with a lot of like-minded community people. Studying education at La Trobe has been very beneficial for me both personally and professionally. So if you're interested in studying a degree in education, come and join us at a regional La Trobe campus.